you need to avoid any ATM automation programs, courses, or packages that someone may want to sell you for thousands of dollars. What's up guys, my name is Anthony. I'm an ATM business owner here in Los Angeles. As more people are posting their ATM business on social media, more than ever, people want to join this business. So this business started back in 1969. This is when independent ATM deployers purchase and place ATMs in barbershops, lick stores, nail salons, and now these folks have hundreds of machines. But there was a disconnect. The disconnect was between the ATM business and social media. Many of these veterans did not post their ATM business on Instagram or Facebook. People simply did not know that they can own an ATM machine. It wasn't until 2018 where there's a group of guys who started to digitally market the ATM business and sell the dream of what the ATM business could do for you. They started to post luxury cars, designer clothing, stack of $20 bills, vacations. They started to sell a course that was 90% off and only $197. They will write captions like this on their Instagram. You can join the ATM franchising business for as little as $197. That's over 90% off. This is literally several thousand dollars normally. You will never see this again. It was during that era that there was an invasion of online gurus selling courses from Amazon FBA, drop shipping, day trading, and eventually the ATM business. It always starts off with free training, whether it's a free PDF guide or free ebook, or if it's their weekly training inside their Facebook groups. These weekly trainings are motivational talks. They have testimonials, success stories about what the ATM business could do for you. They're trying to spend as much time with you as possible. The more time they spend with you, the more trust is built between the relationship and the easier it is for them to offer you a higher price for their services. These trainings are meant to hype you up and to get you to imagine. That's why they use keywords like generational wealth, financial freedom, passive income, quit your nine to five. You could be a millionaire with ATMs. With their marketing, they're selling you the dream and lifestyle if you had ATMs working for you. They're selling you the vacation, not the plane ticket. That is why keywords like generational wealth and financial freedom are used. It is used to create an emotional response within you. They don't mention bill jams, late night service calls, or low performing locations because that's not the vacation. That's the plane ticket. It sounds like work. What they are selling is passive income, AKA the final destination. I'll show you what I mean through an Instagram post. In the past 30 days, I took my family to Mexico, traveled to Miami to network with other entrepreneurs, order a G wagon, updated my McLaren with a new wrap color. And I still made $12,403 from my ATM despite spending zero hours on the business. Passive income is a real flex. That post right there is a final destination that they're selling. That's why we see passive income and financial freedom in almost every other Instagram post. They want you to imagine. Imagine that you're 10 ATMs away from retiring. They relate to you emotionally by having testimonials of people who are once struggling financially and now they're quitting their nine to five after one ATM location or making four to $5,000 a month for one ATM. They post the 1% of locations and advertise it as if this is the average. These are not the averages like this post right here. They post on their Instagram and Facebook that if you had this many machines, the estimated monthly profit will be X amount for those many machines. Here's what I mean. This was posted on Instagram. Five locations, $27 to $4,500 monthly. 10 locations, $54 to $9,000 monthly. 20 locations, $10,000 to $18,000 monthly. The issue is that this number is not the average that ATMs normally make. They overestimate the profits and underestimate the difficulties. The average ATM makes about $200 to $250 a month. Yet on their Instagram and Facebook, we see the 1% of locations. The reason why is to attract people to these Facebook groups and eventually lead them to a consultation call. Here's why I mean. The average ATM makes about $600 a month. Clearly, you won't get rich from a single ATM. But the beautiful thing about this business is you can scale extremely fast. Imagine having 10, 20, or even 30 plus ATMs that make you $600 on average. I own 30 ATMs myself that make me 10 to $15,000 a month. My life changed once I put my money to work and had assets that generated passive income every month. 
If you're interested in more ATM information, feel free to DM me ATM. Someone that has no idea about this ATM business sees a post like this and gets all excited. They start to imagine because they're given unrealistic averages from the business, which leads to a comment like this. Man, I was doing some numbers the other night. And let me tell you, I plan on building an empire with this business. Eventually, it leads to a consultation call with people seeing unrealistic averages, testimonials, success stories, people quitting their nine to five. They want to know the price of the program. People start to ask in the comments, but it's never posted. Instead, they say it depends on the person's need and rather have them book a free 15 minute consultation call. Sorry, uh, I, I appreciate the call. I really have to give this some thought and uh, talk to my wife about it. Um, can I call you back? They don't know, right? These calls are with highly motivated sales consultants who are trained to close you on the deal. Some of these consultants may have never loaded an ATM before, but they know just enough to sell you on the ATM program. They start to ask you questions. Why do you want to join the business? How much money do you want to make? What do you do for work now? Questions that are meant for you to realize your situation now and questions for you to imagine what your situation could be. My highly trained Stratonites. My killers. My killers who will not take no for an answer. They reassure you through email that this won't be any other sales call, but a call that provides value. Check out this example. If you want to start your bulletproof stream of passive income just like Blank did, make sure to book a 15 minute call with my team. One of our consultants will create a proven game plan for you based on hundreds of client success stories so you can take massive action and start landing high paying locations fast. You can also get information about our blank program. This call is about giving value, no pushy sales tactics. At the end of the call, they might present an ultimatum. They need to build a sense of urgency because they want you to decide. The goal of the call is not to get you to buy, the goal of the call is to get you to decide. Are you going to decide to choose financial freedom? Are you going to put an end to your limiting beliefs? Are you going to add another source of income through ATMs? They might present a discount such as $1,000 off. Remember, if people are trying to rush you into a decision that you're not completely sure of, more than likely they're playing off of your emotions than logic. They tell you that it's not a course or a program, but a service with value. Yet they have a portal of video showing a step-by-step -step process of how to start the ATM business. You should ask yourself, if their ATM business was so profitable, why are they spending their time teaching it? The truth is, they can make more money selling the business than being in the business. You should ask yourself, the truth is, the truth is they can make more money selling the business than being in the business. The truth is, the truth is you should ask yourself. They present to you on Instagram, do you want to be a millionaire with ATMs? But can you really become a millionaire with ATMs? The answer is yes, you, you could, it's possible. But the difficulty is really underestimated. I'll give you an example of this based on locations that make $500 a month. With that, you need $83,000 at least a month to make a million dollars a year. With that, you need 166 ATMs with the average cost of an ATM being $2,300. That means you need at least $381,000 in equipment. And on top of that, you need volt cash. You need cash to fill these 166 ATMs. With that, you need probably at least a $1 million or $2 million to fill all these machines and have them fully functional to make you that much money. And on top of that, you need to share commissions to the majority of business owners that want their cut for having an ATM in their business. With those calculations, you could be making a million dollars in one year with the ATM business. Another deception in the marketing of these ATM programs is the volt cash needed for each ATM. Here's an example. This was posted on Instagram. I have 25K. What should I invest in? The owner of this ATM program responded, too easy. Here's what I would do. Get six to seven ATM machines, fill them with $1,000 each, place them at a decent location, and make $200 to $1,000 a month with each ATM. Hard to find a better return for your investment. In the same post, another follower responded, how is $1,000 in each ATM enough money? Even if everyone only took $20, that's only 50 transactions. This person did the math himself and something did not add up. The creator of this post tried to make it seem easier to run an ATM business and someone called him out on his own math. 
This leads to the question, what is the average withdrawal? Across the nation, the average withdrawal is $80 to $100. This post fails to take in consideration the amount of bold cash needed for a location to make $1,000 a month. To give you an accurate perspective, I'll show you some of my locations and the amount of bold cash needed to earn that type of profit. So the first one had 327 transactions. It dispensed $22,000 and had $1,100 in total profit. So this ATM needs at least $5,500 a week. The second one I'll show you had 283 transactions. It dispensed $17,000 and had $990 in total profits. This ATM needs at least $4,200 a week. The last one I'll show you had 350 transactions. It dispensed a total amount of $25,000 and had $700 in total profit. So divided by four weeks, this one needs at least $6,200 a week. So that means with these three locations, I need a minimum of $16,000 for them to be in service and to earn that amount of profit. That's why the guy said, how is $1,000 for each ATM enough money? If the seller of these ATM automation programs mentioned that you need five to 10K per machine, then a lot of people will turn away from their marketing. It is much easier for them to say that you can fill up these machines with $1,000, which a lot of people can easily do. You could hire a third-party company to load your ATMs, but that significantly decreases your profits when you're already sharing your profits with the business owner. But at the end of the day, we're still going to see posts like this. I initially invested 2 k into one ATM more than five years ago. Last year, I generated over $2 million in revenue and one year from the ATM industry. The truth is, it is much easier to sell the ATM business than being in the ATM business. If they sell one ATM, the location for the ATM, and a portal of videos for $10,000, and they have seven customers, that's $70,000 in one month. If they hire consultants and they 10X that, by 70 customers, that's $700,000 a month by selling the ATM business. Now there's a variety of programs and packages out there. Now there's another ATM guru in the ATM industry that sells different packages. Now this is a comment from an ATM group post. Yesterday I was quoted 9,800 for one ATM, 21,000 for three ATMs, and 30,000 for five ATMs, and I have a follow-up call Monday, which I will cancel now. I'm so thankful I found this group. Looking to get started with some guidance, I just can't see myself spending that amount of money. Here's the other comment that reads, Hello, I'm a part of an automated program where they do everything, find locations, etc. I purchased a 10 machine package, estimated $40,000. They also have smaller packages. So I ended up messaging their salesman and this was our conversation. How much do you know about what our company does? Honestly, just through the posts and stories at times. Gotcha. Let me know if this will be helpful. We have a completely done for you service when it comes to ATMs. We actually find the business to place them in and actually deliver and set up the ATM for you. After that, we even help you find someone to service the machine on your behalf. We guarantee a minimum of 40% ROI in just 12 months, 24,000 to 48,000 in your first year. Is this something that will be worth a conversation? So right here, this company guarantees twenty-four dollars to $48,000 in their first year. Sorry to break it to you, but there's no guarantees in this industry. Yet many people fall for this and pay $40,000 in hopes to get that twenty-four dollars to $48,000 in return. But within a couple weeks or months, they realize that this company overestimated the profits and by then it's too late. Now let's put this in perspective. The average surcharge is $3. That means in order to recuperate the $40,000 investment, their ATMs need to do 13,333 transactions. I'll give you a real life example of this. A new ATM operator posted this comment on an ATM group. Looking for some advice, would like to expand my ATM business to multiple machines, locations, but still trying to get my first location profitable worthwhile. Started out three months ago with one machine in a barbershop beauty supply store in East Boston. I have a $3 surcharge there with $1 going to the merchant. So far, I have only cleared 77 approved withdrawals in that time. I don't have any type of contract with the merchant and got the location from the blank program. Is it time to move the machine elsewhere? Now, this person even posted this picture. It's the three-month transaction history, and it only shows 77 approved withdrawals. 
that means that this person has only made $144 in three months with this ATM being at this location. Someone commented on his post and said, doesn't blank promise replacing your location if you're not satisfied? That was one of their selling points. After people purchase ATM automation programs, courses, or packages, they tend to realize after some time that there was no need to spend thousands of dollars. Now this person was sold the dream. This person was told that this was a first step towards financial freedom, passive income, or generational wealth. This person should be asking this question to the company that sold them this location. It's the same company that says that you're 10 ATMs away from retiring, or do you want to be a millionaire with ATMs? Now, right here, this next post is the most honest breakdown I've seen from the ATM business. Okay, so something needs to be said because I see people new to this industry being taken advantage of daily. So-called experts are charging $7,000 to $10,000 for an ATM and their mentorship package. This is way overpriced, and anyone trying to sell you this is not trying to help you. Let me break it down. ATM should be below $2,500, not getting price specific because taxes can affect things. Mentorship, free, maybe $500 if someone is offering you real in-person hand-holding. But many people in these ATM groups can give free advice and knowledge from years of experience. Location, couple options. Find yourself, buy a lead for anywhere between $300 to $500 or buy a contract location for $400 to $1,000 depending on potential. Contract template, plenty for free on these groups. So max will be $4,000, but you can do it all yourself for under $2,500. Now let's go fill up some machines rant over. Now, Anthony, why does this matter to you? Since I've been in law enforcement for the past eight years, I have spoken to thousands of citizens that have been taken advantage of and that have been scammed from senior citizens buying gift cards to people buying stolen cars on offer up. I've seen people get taken advantage of all the time. They lose money all the time. Now, I care when people get taken advantage of, and especially when they're given unrealistic numbers for a business that they have no idea about. So I'll leave you with this. Always, always, always do your homework. Do your homework extensively, especially when you're going to be handing over your credit card information. There's a ton of free information out there with the ATM business. This is a great business. So I'll be coming out with more YouTube videos. So make sure to subscribe to not miss out.